I wish I could get the music to keep playing. Uh, we're playing Persona 4 today. I did purchase a new game that I want to play, but I'm going to do that probably, start that probably Saturday. It depends on when I want to play it, to be honest. Today's going to be a big cutscene day, though. game time. Hey, here's a story about the fog. Um, the fog is coming, the fog is coming. I'm raising concerns that this fog may consist of harmful substances. More and more citizens are calling for an investigation into the cause of the fog and the facts about it. Though the government has begun its preliminary investigation, many feel that the causes will be hard to pin... Oh, is this fog really dangerous? You hardly ever see people walking around town anymore. Or here, either. Everyone's too scared of the fog now to go outdoors much. It does seem a lot like the fog on the other side. But beyond that, I'm clueless. There's another item of note here. A summary of Namatame's career with details about the case. Okay. So the this is going to be a big cutscene day, so... Victim. It seems she was killed due to relationship troubles. Really nothing interesting is going to happen in this playthrough because I already know everything also that's going to happen. Miss Saki Kanishi's body was discovered. The police are looking into a motive for the murder. In July, a boy living in Inaba performed a copycat murder. The boy was initially thought to be the culprit behind all the killings, but later suspicion was thrown upon Namatame. Last month, the suspect attempted to kidnap a seven-year-old girl of Inaba, resulting in his arrest. Attempted? It seems Namatame he is did still kidnap her. his hospital bed, so further interrogation has yet to commence. So it's finally over. A lot of stuff's happened. But all that's left is for the police to build a case for Namatame, right? I'm sure your uncle can. But the stuff he was saying was so obviously not... If he says anything about the TV world, he might be considered mentally unstable. Also, I heard before that if the police don't have enough hard evidence, it's difficult to build a case. Yes, there are many such cases and culprits. It's the eternal conundrum for crime investigators. So even if they're caught, the law can't do shit? Yep. It's a possibility. Government sucks. Life sucks. The hell's up with that? We all know he did it. You can't just let a maniac who thinks he's saving people by killing them run wild on the streets. 
They better not dismiss something this serious because of some mental issues. Saki-senpai. No, not just her. Or that announcer. Even King Moron is his fault. If it weren't for what he did, nobody would have tried a copycat killing. It's his fault Nanako-chan's in the hospital right now, t What's the matter? You told the others about your promise with Nanako. Oh, then why don't we go check them out right now? I know Nanako-chan would be psyched if she came home and found a new Kotatsu. Dude, why didn't you tell me sooner? The winter season's coming up and we just got a bunch of them in stock. All right, off to the housewares section for Nanako-chan! If we're getting a Kotatsu, we better get some oranges to complete the set. It's a cliche because it's true, damn it. The best compliment to a Kotatsu would be a heated rug. Dude, that much juice would kill the breaker the moment you tried to microwave something. Oh, yeah. it's, it's hard you to explain how much I love this play and how much I it's love this nice game. And toasty. Because it's Can I still stay here? It's hard to explain how much of this game, but it's just the vibes, you know? Like It's hard to explain why I love it, except for except to experience it yourself. It's just the vibes. You kept your promise to me. So I should be going back. But I don't want to go until Nana-chan gets better. Of course you can stay. How many times do we have to say this before it gets through to you? Nanako-chan would be sad if you weren't there when she wakes up. But I couldn't save Nana-chan. Don't be silly. We saved her together. We caught the killer, man. We couldn't have done that without you. Teddy... You shouldn't talk that way when Nanako-chan is still fighting. You guys. Sensei, I'm so touched. I'll stay by your side until Nana-chan comes home, Sensei. What? No, you oh, live with right. Yosuke. There's no one but you at your place. Hey, why don't we pick out a Christmas present for Nanako-chan while we're at it? Oh, that's a great idea. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital by then. All right, but none of this charge it to Yosuke stuff this time. Seriously. We're clear on this, right? Oh, come on. Why would we do something like that? Dude, the clothes you got for this guy? I almost pissed my pants when I saw the receipt. <laughs> How many days do you think I had to work to pay that off? Well, I can't help it if Juness overcharges for things. Ugh. Well, I guess you gotta expect that. It's not like Chia-san's ever had the occasion to help a guy shop before. What? What did you just say? This beef. Come on, baby. Don't fight over me. Stay, Stay out, out of this! this. <laughs> sometimes, yeah, it's like Yukiko. Sometimes this game just makes me want to laugh like Yukiko. Let's leave them be and think of a present for Nanako-chan on... What would a girl her age want? What do you think Nanako-chan would appreciate most? That's not really for kids. It's not? It's still pretty cute. Just like the real thing. <laughs> All right, as soon as Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, we'll have a party at your place. Yes! And we'll bake the cake! Of course! Let's make it a cake to remember. Oh, no, you're not. Are you trying to send Nanako-chan back to the hospital? Yeah, she's already... Okay, now it's sad time. It's Adachi. Hello, this is Adachi. Um, I want you to stay calm and listen to me, okay? Nanako-chan's condition suddenly got worse. Yeah, because you messed with the, the fucking life monitor by bet, bitch. You messed with the air. I, like, 100% guarantee that Adachi did something, like, suddenly got worse. I 100% guarantee that Adachi messed with, like, the hospital equipment. Because he'd think it'd be funny. The doctor wants you to come to the hospital immediately. We'll be waiting. 
Come on, let's go. Uh, also. I, that's another thing with the bad part about the silent protagonist, because... Like, they don't get to show Yu's grief when losing Nanako in this game, and they do in the anime, and that's why I like the anime so much. But again, the game is also really, really good. Like, both have their ups and downs, and you should really experience both. TV. Isn't there a vaccine or something for it? Calm down, please. That's just a rumor. Don't tell me to calm down. You're lying. We know you have medicine for this. Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? Why would we do something like that? What a commotion. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. <laughs> Dojima-san, you need to return to your... I don't give a damn about myself. Do something about Nanako. <sighs> Dojima-san! Just save her. For God's sake, please save Nanako. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being. Hey, can't you do something? This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, but... Damn it. What does this have to happen to a little girl like her? Me neither. This is all that bastard's fault. Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? You guys still here? How is Dojima-san doing? His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over in his room now. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. What's that mean? I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find him guilty in court. Especially given the reason why we took him off our list of suspects for the first case. Oh yeah, something about him having an alibi. Can't you get, can't you get him on a kidnapping charge at the very least? Yeah, that. And the whole angle about him putting people into TVs. There's no way that'll stand up in court. No one would believe that. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatame killed these people. And Dojima-san knows it. Well, ain't you calm about this? I'm just telling you the truth. And you call yourself a cop? Huh? You want to see that stuff so bad, we'll show you! Hurry up and bring a TV here, damn it! Hey, stop! Is Nanako Chan's family here? Hurry inside. Please talk to her. What the hell? What's going on? No. Nanako Chan. Daddy. Nanako-chan. Nanako-chan. Can you hear us? Do you understand what we're saying? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. Oh, I'm an official part of the family. Oh. <laughs> Where's Dojima-san? We're calling for him right now. How's Nanako? Doctor. <sighs> Big bro. Mm -mm. 
dude, no. This kid doesn't deserve all this. I'm scared. Big bro. Dude. With this song too? You didn't even get to see? Nanako! Nanako! I'm sorry, sir. No! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Nana Chan. We did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this. <laughs> Not a Kochan. Dojima-san, what's with that look? Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Hmm? Huh? Wait, is, is Nanako-chan... But then, where did Dojima-san go? His room isn't that way. Wait a sec, that's the way to... Senpai! Senpai! Dojima-san might have gone after Namatame! Adachi-san said he was admitted to this hospital! You transported into the same hospital? For crying out loud, he's the suspect in the case! What are you getting mad at me for? This is the biggest hospital, and he's in no condition to be moved. In case something like this happened, the details of a suspect's hospitalization are confidential information. Just tell us where he is already! Dojima's son's on his way, ain't he? You don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him! Kanji-kun, you don't mean... Uh, hold on. Just what are you guys talking about? Cough it up! Where's this room? <clears throat> Top floor in the second surgical ward. Furthest room back. But there's a police guard. Bye, Dachi. I... I was always Dude. watching over Nana-chan. This and poor I still kid. couldn't save her. It happened in she my world. She doesn't deserve it. Even though I... It was the only teddy in that place. I... I still couldn't do anything. I... <laughs> well... Let go of me. I need to speak to him. Like we said, without permission. Permission? Who gave him permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? The hell with you all! Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? But Dojima is just... I love him. I'm, I rag on him a lot for being a bad parent, but in the end, he does care about his Give kid, and I love Nanako. him. Give her back! She's... She's all I have! She's... The only one in the world. Call a doctor! Let go of me. I need to... Holy crap! Dojima-san! Quick, get him to his room. I'll go alert the doctors. It's just that Yu's reaction isn't shown as well. 
and Dojima son, was he seriously gonna <sighs> His only daughter's dead. Nothing would have surprised me. Dojima san probably knew that there's little to no chance Namatame would be convicted. Damn it. He killed Senpai. And now Nanako-chan. And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did. That's not right. <laughs> Why? Why is he the one that gets to go on living? <laughs> I... I... You have your life, and now you want your freedom too? It's your fault that Nanako Chun's... I... I didn't. I... Twelve o'clock. Is it the Midnight Channel? Hey, isn't this... I failed, failed to, to save, save her. It's, it's because, because you, you got, got in my, my way. way. Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. No. Come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. What the... I failed. But it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. What? Is that what Namatami's really thinking? Then... He wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law! I will never forgive what you did! This... Please! Stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. Or do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you? Honestly, I think he does deserve to be thrown in the TV. Like, even though he's not the real killer, I think he des deserves to die for what he did to so many people. Do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? I don't care either way. Living or dying, Makes no difference to me. But you, you're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? <laughs> I'll continue saving people. It's my mission. Mission? My God. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. That's another thing that bothers me about this, because at, in Golden Week, he's... He survives, and he's at... And he's back in Inaba. But, like... Can't they get the charges of kidnapping to stick at the very least? Shouldn't he be in jail for that? I, like, we know I he kidnapped Nanako. This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. Ado Adachi really wants us to do this. Like, that's why he hinted at this. Why, with something like this in the room... This man could escape. It's kind of obvious time. in retrospect that Adachi's the killer. Like, he's always giving us info and stuff. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Wait a second. You don't mean. Are you serious? You're just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's. But. What? What's gotten into you guys? This is crazy! How can we do something like that? Cheer! Everyone, listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. 
this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But... but... Yosuke... All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. If we do that one thing, and this is all over. J just p push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? We don't have time to wait. If we don't do this now, the cops will come back. What are you trying to say? Something we don't know. What don't we know? But we just heard the guy's true feelings on TV. What didn't you understand? It's this, right? Well, what is it? I already told you there's no time to waste. Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it, I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer. Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. I don't know why this is the option and not I can't do it. Like, calm the hell down is so mean. Right? You don't have to put it like that, you. He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. I'm perfectly calm. Hey. What did you mean by, we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hey, let's all take Even though he breath. thought he was saving people, I think he should put be put in the prison. After what happened to Nanako-chan and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. <sighs> Fine. You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But! But! Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. <laughs> Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. What's up? Hi. Oh, you have work? Damn. Okay, Nanako's fucking dead. Um... <laughs> Okay, one thing I don't understand is, how does Namatame get out of prison so early? I mean, I get it, the charges can't sit, but can't, we know for a fact he kidnapped Nanako. Can't they at least get him on a kidnapping charge? A 
anytime, anywhere, anything. Jeez, how the hell can you stay so calm, man? Then again, that's why you're our leader. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. All right, I'm convinced. <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. <laughs> Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry. And thanks. I really hope the remake c c keeps the there will be drastic changes in the story going further line. Because I really like that. Also, one thing I don't like about... Loki... One thing I don't like about... Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. suspect. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation and their trust in you, Adachi-san. Oh, I see. We'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. He seems fine for now, but he really needs his rest. Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. Understood. We should go, too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. So what's this thing we're missing, huh? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me, too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. After you use the bathroom, I'll be right back. Good luck at work, though.
though, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her. It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Uh, I don't really get any of this. <laughs> Oh, this is so confusing! There we go. Boom, boom, boom! Hello? Okay. Hey, we can hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Oh, there you are, all of you. Please come with me immediately. Huh? What's going on? What it's are you a waiting Christmas for? Miracle. Hurry, go. Where am I? Is this... Teddy's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. I remember being at the hospital. Okay, how does this happen? Because we know that only people who signed the contract can enter Velvet Room, right? That's right, Nana-chan. I... I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. I lost my reason to be there. Th that's it. I remember now. So, it was true. Guys, Sensei, what should I do? Oh, there they are. Nanako-chan came around. Huh? What did you just say? Nanako-chan's... How long has passed? Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still... Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. Okay, so what changes between the bad ending and this that causes not Nanako to be alive, right? I I'm nitpicking, but when I really like a game, I like to nitpick it. What causes, what changes? So, so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? Nanako-chan... <laughs> oh my god. I... <laughs> this is amazing. Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I I didn't know what I was going to do. <laughs> Come on. Stop crying, you two. You just stands there. You all should go home for the night. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. I love how Yoshi is still smiling. Wait a second, where's Teddy? I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. <laughs> You're right. That's weird. I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Oh, yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. I'll try calling him up once we're outside. Couldn't save. I couldn't save. Why, Mayumi? And that girl, too? I couldn't save them. Huh? Uh, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh.
I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. Oh, it's snow. Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. It doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's go home. Hey, Yosuke, if you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. Man, that Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine. But I'll hurry home just in case. Well, see you tomorrow. Back in Namitami's room, was it really right to stop everyone from what they were about to do? For now, you have no way of knowing. You remember your cell phone has been off since you got to the hospital. There's something new in your inbox. I. Oh, she's checking up on us. That... Like... Duh. Did that happen in Persona 3 or 5? I don't think so. Hey, I heard some stuff about what's been going on. I know this is tough for you, but you better take care of yourself too. Your cousin's gonna be worried about you when instead when she gets better, right? Stupid. Oh no, I vaguely remember them sending you mail, right? In Persona 5, right? I think, after your Psy arc. I heard what happened to your little cousin. Is there anything to do? We're best friends, dude. Daisuke here. I heard about Nanako-chan. If there's anything to do I can do to help you guys, please tell me ASAP. You've got the guts, man. You gotta be brave, man. Great vegetables. Dog, that's depressing, no! This. Welcome. It's been quite some time. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dream. Now then, your journey has taken you quite a distance thus far. Do you believe you'll be able to successfully solve this mystery? Splendid. The precise destination of this vehicle. Ah, that too is getting rather hard to judge. If we continue driving blindly, we may end up leading you further away from the mystery that you must reach. Well, why don't we take a moment to look back on your journey? It was for that purpose that I summoned you here tonight, Margaret. What? Yeah, well, I quit pretending. You're the only one who didn't pay attention to the oh, rumors yeah. flying around about me. You saw me as I am. What's right? Oh, what fuck you, you should choose to do in life. The answers to those things lie within you. We are experiencing the words engraved into your memory during your journey. Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. All right. Let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. 
Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. And it seems you have comrades with you as well. Those heading in the same direction through this dense fog. We'll be parked for the moment while I confirm our current heading. As I mentioned previously, this year will signal a great change in your life. Though there isn't much time left, it can be worth your while to take the time to stop and reflect. I like the Velvet Room in P5, but the prison theme doesn't have the same sense of motion that the car and the elevator do. Because I think that sense of motion is important. For the story that Persona tells of a whole year to do People things. People are like water flowing in a river. There is only one stream. The more I play the all who older Persona games, the less I like Persona 5, I feel. And I still really like Persona 5. Like, the style and gameplay are great, but I don't know. The more, the more I play the other games, the more I like these more. Some travel fast. Some change their course experiencing countless events as they travel down the river of time. Just so. The state of this room reflects the scenery of your heart. Perhaps this may be a time for contemplation rather than action. Teddy's missing. I looked all over the neighborhood, but I couldn't find him anywhere. Yeah, me too. He was acting all weird lately. Risei and the others are checking inside the TV to see if he's gone back to the other side. We're meeting pretty soon, so will you come with me to Juness? It's no use, man. We can't find him. No luck for me either. I didn't sense anything over there. The fog's so dense, it might be affecting my readings. I wish I could do better. I'm sorry. Uh, Ted. Don't tell me he really went back to his world this time. We told him over and over that he could stay here. This may be a time that is what Igor said. I guess that's all we can do right now. He plays dumb a lot, but he's attached to us deep down. He wouldn't disappear without saying anything, right? I'm worried for Teddy myself, but let's trust in him and await his return. Right now, we must concentrate on the case. It won't be long before Namatame is transferred to another location. We must hurry, or we will miss our only chance to get his perspective on this. You know, I've been thinking about the case since, but something just doesn't seem right. Let's quickly review the facts. Of all the victims, only two were killed. Miss Yamano, the announcer, and Saki-san. From the documents we found in the car, we know Namatame had some sort of dealings with them. After that, there were multiple attempted murders in which we were targeted. It was only when he took Nanako-chan that we caught him in the act, identifying his modus operandi in the process. I want to hear you put it like that. Sounds like the dude's guilty. As a result of Namatame's arrest, the police admitted that Mitsuo Kubo was a mere copycat killer. Back up to yesterday. Remember when you said Namatame didn't have a motive to kill the announcer? That's what's bothering me. Right. Either he's completely nuts, or we're misunderstanding something. You lost me. She's trying to say that if Namatame is sane, then there may be facts in the case we don't know about yet. Sane or insane? Sounds like a play I saw before. Is that a reference to something? When he talks 
about saving people, what does that actually mean? I don't think there's any doubt that it includes kidnapping people and throwing them into the TV. Could he mean saving them through death? They're Nick. He did call himself a savior and said that the other side is a wonderful world. So they'll be saved if they die? What a bunch of crap. The bastard should have gone and saved himself. <laughs> you should save yourself now. What do you think, Senpai? If you think about it normally, it's... There's something I've been wondering about for a while. You should save yourself now. When we first encountered him, he said, You're the ones I saved. Don't worry, I'll save this girl too. So, um, if he saves people by killing them, did he save us too? Wouldn't he actually have failed to save us? You raise a good point. If he thinks that salvation comes only through death, his words to us make no sense. And another thing, the Namatame who appeared on the Midnight Channel said he failed to save Nanako-chan. Well, maybe he really was trying to save the victims by putting them inside the TV. C come on, don't get all quiet like that. You guys know I just say the first dumb thing that pops into my head. <laughs> the possibility that he truly intended to save us. But he's still the one who threw in Saki-senpai in that announcer, right? Sure, we haven't nailed down his motives, but that doesn't change the fact that he killed them. Or what? You think someone else was involved? What makes you think so? Warning letter? Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to that thing? If Namatami's the killer, he must have been the one who wrote it, right? Let's review them. Yes, that's right. Isn't that kind of odd? Would someone who thinks he's saving people by killing them write stuff like don't rescue or kill? Yeah, and the will be put in and killed part doesn't make sense either. If the killer was writing it, wouldn't it be more like I'll put in and kill? Hey, could this mean... I mean, not necessarily. Yeah. It's almost like someone else wrote this letter. But only the killer would write such a letter and deliver it to Dojima-san's house, right? If someone else wrote it, that could only mean... Dear God. Since this is such an unusual case, I was absolutely convinced that other than the Kubo incident, there was one culprit. So, Namatame really was trying to save his victims? Everything is exactly the opposite of what it first seemed. In Namatame's parlance, failing would have been the first two cases when the victims died. If he had used his method twice and failed both times, he would hardly have continued using the TV. And yet, he did. It all seems to suggest that someone else wrote this warning letter while observing the entire case. Someone else? Then, it wasn't Namatame that killed Saki-senpai and the announcer? Why did Adachi send that warning letter? Because he wants us to continue this game of cat and mouse, right? So, why would he incriminate himself like that? Yet. We urgently need to speak with Namatame face to face. How though? After what happened yesterday, they said they're gonna tighten security. I have a plan, but there's no time to waste. Let's hurry to the hospital. His plan is to call in a bomb threat. Hey, this place is off limits. I'm a consultant with the police. I'd like a few words with Namatame-san. May I go in? This is Unit 252, requesting confirmation on an ID. Name of Naoto Shirogane. 
Ah, understood. I see. Well, you're on the list. I can give you a few minutes, but I'll have to record your conversation with him for security purposes. Not that I expect you'll get anything coherent out of the guy. He's been spouting nothing but gibberish. I'd like him to accompany me as well. He has no identification, but this is an emergency situation. And he's here in Detective Dojima's stead. Huh? Detective Dojima sent him? I wasn't informed of this. I'll vouch for his identity. Well, I guess it's better than dealing with the man himself. We have our hands full with the transport procedures, so the last thing we need is Detective Dojima running wild. Detective Adachi is busy somewhere, too. This is Unit 252. Huh? I see. Has something happened? There's something about a suspicious object out in the lobby. Ah, uh, well then, this works out nicely. You should back up your colleagues downstairs. We'll keep watch over Namatame-san. A disturbance in a hospital lobby, after all. It sounds serious. If anything happens, hit the nurse call button. I'll leave the rest to you. Understood. Please be careful. I knew they were undermanned, but I didn't expect it to go this smoothly. Wow! There's nothing much inside that suspicious object, so he won't be gone long. All right, then now's our chance to talk to Namatame. Namatame-san, there's something we'd like to ask you. <laughs> it's tempting to think that you were the culprit behind this entire case. And to be honest, there are many in this town who hope you are. But we are here to learn the truth. So please, answer our questions. Huh? I couldn't save them. Huh? Me? Hmm. No. If nobody saves them, they'll be killed. That's why I put them in there. Then tell me if my estimation is correct so far. After discovering the Yamano and Konishi incidents, you realized an appearance on the Midnight Channel meant certain death. Thus, to save her from that fate, you kidnapped Yukiko Amagi. You couldn't let her be killed, so you threw her into the TV, preventing the killer in this world from reaching her. Why'd she say it like that? Yukiko Amagi. And you repeated the process, as more individuals appeared on the Midnight Channel. It all falls into place. His body is weak, but his mind is sound. He's trying to tell us the truth. Yeah, but if the stuff he's saying is true... There's another killer who murdered the first two victims? Indulge us in a few more questions. I have no idea. I want to know that too. What are you talking about? Why did you enter the TV? I didn't know. I never thought it would be that kind of place. As I thought. You believe me? Did they find him? Did they find the one who did such cruel things? My Yumi. Please calm down. Our ability to find the culprit rests on you. We know about the other world. In fact, we're the only ones who can fully understand what you have to say. Only you? We did blame you for everything at first. But now I think we can accept whatever you got to tell us as truth. 
Please, tell us everything you can, calmly and slowly. Do it or else we'll push you in the TV. You're willing to listen? Do my story? All right. The character models are so goofy, I love them. I can't wait for a remake, though. Soon after my affair with Mayumi became common knowledge, I returned to my parents' home, as if to run away from the scandal. And I started drinking heavily to drown my anxieties. I hadn't been able to reach Mayumi at all, and that didn't help either. Mayumi, where are you? She'd been disgraced on all the afternoon shows, and forced to resign from the program she was on. I caused her so much trouble. I wanted to at least apologize to her, but I couldn't even do that. I lost the will and energy to do anything. Then, one day, the rumor I heard some time ago came back to me. Since I had nothing better to do, I sat down blankly in front of the TV and watched my own reflection. And all of a sudden... Mayumi? Is that you? The Mayumi inside the TV looked as if she was calling to me for help. Mayumi? Mayumi! When I reached out unthinkingly to touch her, my arm disappeared into the TV. Well? As if I had dipped it into a pool of water. I was so shocked that I lost my balance and nearly fell face first into the TV. I was so scared. I couldn't understand what just happened. I thought maybe I'd gone insane. In the end, I decided to think of it as just a dream, and I went back to the city the next day after finishing work. The next afternoon when I got to work, I was fired on the spot, as I expected. That wasn't what broke me, though. It was Mayumi being found dead. And not just that, but it had happened in my hometown. I was dumbstruck. But later on, I remember the image of Mayumi I'd seen that night. Was it not a dream? Could it really have been an SOS from Mayumi? I hadn't touched another TV because the first time was so terrifying, but I decided to try it again. And I confirmed that none of it was a dream. I wonder who the voice actors for the remake would be. Who would you want? trust to, like who would i trust to play yosuke besides yuri so lowenthal image, i have no idea was it something mayumi showed me calling for help that's how i felt and eventually you learned of the midnight channel i remember that when mayumi was alive she was chasing a rumor about some bizarre tv program i'd heard about it before but i thought it was just an urban legend but then mayumi appeared on it okay later turned up dead Sorry, this is going to be the whole stream just watching cutscenes. That it's a persona moment. The more I thought about it, the harder it became to believe that the two events were unrelated. Soon after that, I came back to Inaba to answer the police's questions. I'd lost my job and I wanted to know the truth of Mayumi's death for myself. Then, on another rainy night, someone else appeared on the midnight channel. It was a girl. She looked like she was calling for help. Just like Mayumi, the first thing that came into my mind was, maybe this girl will be the next to die. And that was Saki-senpai. I'd been following all the news about Mayumi, so I noticed right away that she was the girl who found Mayumi's body. And if my hunch was right, she'd be the next victim. I didn't want her to die the way Mayumi did, so I desperately kept watching. I was consumed with the idea of rescuing her. Then, little by little, her image on the screen came into sharper focus. It became sharper? <sighs> How did you find out it was her? After I came back, my father couldn't bear to see me in such low spirits and gave me a job with the family business. I met that girl when I delivered a package to the liquor store. What are you talking After about? After agonizing over it, I decided to meet her and told her to be careful. But that same night, on the TV. She looked 
as if she was being engulfed by some black shape. She was writhing in pain. That's why I warned her. Why won't she pick up the phone? Come on, please! The next day, they found her dead. I knew she was going to be murdered, but I couldn't save her. I blamed myself, thinking there must have been something I could have done. There was no one who depended on me. Nobody at work, not even my wife. Your Mayumi bitch wife. was the only one who accepted me for who I was. But she was murdered. And the same person killed another girl. What do you mean accepted you for who you were? I was... I was beside myself. I couldn't forgive myself for doing nothing. You really did love Miss Yomino. Yes. Yomino? The of my heart. Before I was married, my wife made it big in show business. I was happy for her, but... It put a strain on our relationship. I think I can kind of relate. It was around that time when I met Mayumi. She was interviewing our candidate for the next election. She was a big name announcer, but she only worked with local stations, and her attitude towards work was similar to mine. We both came from Inaba, so she was easy to talk to. I knew it was wrong, but I couldn't help getting intimate with her. She gave meaning to my life. Soon after Saki-san was found dead, yet another girl appeared on TV. That was you. She'll be kidnapped next, and murdered. I can't let her end up like Mayumi and that other girl. This time, I'm gonna do something. But why put her in the TV that you had no idea about? Why not just keep her at your house? My opponent was a murderer who left no clues to his identity. I thought hard about what I could do to protect her from someone like that. I'll never convince her. If she gets suspicious and they arrest me, who'll save her then? The girl inside the TV looked as if she was smiling at me. And that's when it hit me. I apparently had the power to go through the TV screen to the other side. Then, what if I put her into the TV and give her shelter there before the killer gets her? Also, why doesn't Nabatame just tell us about the call from Adachi now? What are you trying what? to tell me? Like, is that it stupid? safe over there? Is that it? The girl inside the TV seemed to smile at me, and I thought, no matter what kind of place it might be, it's better than being slaughtered. Once things calm down, I could just let her out again. If she's inside the TV, there's no way they can find her. It felt as if everything was starting to come together in my mind. Could it be that Mayumi gave me that power to prevent any more victims from meeting her fate? Was it my mission to save people? But there was a big problem. If I explained the situation to the victim, they wouldn't understand. I had already tried that and failed miserably. It seemed the only thing I could do was to take them away. If that was my mission, I'd just have to do it. Or so I thought. Mayumi, please lend me your strength. So, since you thought people who appeared on the Midnight Channel would be killed, you kidnapped us in order to save us. Mission? Give me a break! You never stopped and wondered about any of this? I thought I was the only one who could help them. I did call the police, but they didn't believe me. Oh, he does mention it. I knew the area well. Thanks and to my job. And he doesn't know what doctor I had a though. large truck, and I could move around without suspicion. Hey, this is a confession. Nato. Now, hey, Nato, do you have a videotape? Do you have a video? Like, a uh, audio tape? I thought my job as a delivery man yeah. was a perfect cover for my mission. I thought no one else could do it. But are you telling me that I wasn't saving them? If a person is still within the TV world when the fog appears here, they will die. Beginning with Yukiko-san, the people you thought you had been saving were, in fact, in mortal peril. It was my friends here who really saved us all. I had a feeling that was it. 
When I went after that little girl and entered the TV myself, for the first time, I had some doubts about myself. You refer to Nanakarchan. The police were after me, so I had to get away. But I still felt I needed to do everything I could to save that poor little girl. That's why I went in after her. But the TV world was completely different than I imagined. Such an abominable, grotesque place. I knew that the three of you who I saved went back to your normal lives, so I didn't realize how terrible that world was. I never knew. You couldn't three? even get out of that place on your own. Isn't it four? Why'd you say three of us? It was... You could go Kanji, Risa, Nago, right? Why... No. That's a cowardly way to put it. I'd probably already begun to realize that it was a dangerous place. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have gone to see you all. See us? Wait, are you talking about the concert we did at Juness? Yes. I wanted to know why the ones I saved were all hanging out with each other, and how much you remembered. Is this a different voice actor? Yes. I wanted... No. I never knew. No. I'd probably already be... I never knew. I knew that the three of you... I'd probably... Is that a different but voice actor? In the end, I couldn't bring myself to say anything and ran home. I must have felt too guilty. <laughs> but all the doubts and anxieties I'd been unconsciously suppressing exploded out when I entered the television myself. I thought I was going insane. I probably did. And you know the rest. When I came to, I was lying in a hospital bed. You really were trying to save people. But I ended up doing... I always wanted to enter the world of politics and become useful to society. But after losing my job and the woman I loved, all I had left was this power. I convinced myself that world was some sort of sanctuary. And I secretly believe myself to be a hero. Uh. I never doubted what I saw on TV and believed everything was as I wanted it to be. I didn't think for myself at all. That's why I couldn't protect them. I'm to blame for all of it. Yes, I agree. I have no intentions of running away from my crimes. I'm prepared to face the consequences. Kidnapping is already a serious crime. And on top of that, I put all those lives in danger. Just confess, yeah. The Midnight Channel and the Other World? You can hardly be blamed for failing to understand them properly. We must apologize to you as well. Had we let our emotions blind us to the truth, we would have piled all the responsibility on you. I guess from your point of view, people did stop dying once you started saving people. I really hope, speaking of the Juness concert, I really hope that, uh, that even if Persona 4 Remake doesn't keep the Marie shit, which it should, because it, it'll be a, but knowing Atlas, they probably won't because that's what they're doing with that's what they did with Fat with Reload and the Persona 3 portable content. But anyway, my point is, I really hope that I feel like adding a whole nother game on top of this game, which is that is portable, is different than adding like one social link and a new and a dungeon. I think I think they could keep the golden content in 
the, a remake of this and still have it turn out right. And I really hope they do because these golden, the golden content really helps sell these feelings of friendship, you know? Like, the concert and... All that, you know? The more you did it, the more you really believed you were preventing their deaths. I'm or did the concert happen joke. in the original? I don't think so. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little tired. What are you all crammed in here for? My apologies. We'll be leaving now. Wait. I beg you, please, find whoever's behind this. You children are the only ones who know about that world. What? <laughs> it's all clear now. He never committed any murders. It was another party who threw the first two victims into the TV. The person is saying, like, what are you even talking about? Get out of here! I told you, he's almost ready to be transported. We can't have anything else happen. Sheesh. I better not see you rascals here again. Monaco-chan looks like she's in pain. She's fighting for dear life. This was the last place we saw Teddy, right? He was so worried about her. How can he flake out like this when we have to find the real killer? The police consider the matter closed. We'll have to do all the investigation from here on out. Let's revisit Saki-san and Miss Yamano's incidents and see if we can turn up fresh details. But it's been over six months. Wouldn't the trail be cold by now? I know, but we can't give up. We're the only ones who understand what's really going on, and you never know. People might remember some things now because they've had so much time to think about it. Let's split up and talk to people all over town tomorrow. We'll meet up in the evening to discuss our findings. I hope we can find out something about Teddy, too. school was founded, so you have the day off. So I don't remember who exactly we need to talk to. You? The incident last spring, I wonder what happened. I almost forgotten about that. Wow, I must be getting old, hmm? I heard it was Juness. The country of Juness is staging an all-out attack on Inaba. I mentioned this early in the playthrough, but I read a post a while back that was like First, I thought that said at first I thought Juness was going to be the villain of Persona 4 because they were indoctrinating Nanako. <laughs> like I thought the killer was like Yosuke's dad or something or, Ju or just Juness in general.
Rosette came and spoke to me, asked her, this is a once in a lifetime thing. Didn't they capture the suspect and put a lid on the case? I'm very busy talking to Rosette right now. I've been asking about Teddy too, but, I, but I'm surprised about how many people actually remember him. The guy in a bear suit from Jeunesse. Hey, mascots I remember. That's what a mascot's job. But nobody's seen him yesterday or today. He's loved by so many people. Where the heck could he have gone? A little while ago, they said they, a suspect had been caught. It was Namatame-san, right? Any other weird people aside from Namatame-san? I've heard poison and freaked out. I need to get a ta gas mask. Hey, it's me. Do you recognize me? Why am I outside? When I'm at home, I just see more news about the murders. I thought I'd stay out and watch the sunset. Of course, I'm going to watch TV when I get home, but I, I can't even see the sunset because of all this fog. It's a small town. If there were anyone suspicious, but I haven't heard any news about that. Oh, the fog is here too. That thing in Inaba, I saw it on the news. Can I help you? I don't remember anything from that long ago. A suspicious person, my friend was saying she saw one. She's just wandering around the shopping district, so why don't you ask her? Oh, that, you remember Saki Kanishi? She she told me that the Namatami person came to her one day and started spouting craziness about the TV. And I don't know what you're implying. Saki was a good girl. It's just that people misunderstood her. I'm sorry, all I remember that is that something happened.
The town was all abuzz last spring. You remember that, don't you? I hate these segments because I always have no idea where to go. I found more of them. I need to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll be right back. I gotta go in like 30 minutes, so...
We hot. What's up, Casey? We are looking for... I wonder if they're gonna give them battle outfits for the remake, like C's. not spoken to Oh. There we go. <sighs> I'm seriously poop. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. <sighs> the killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. What should we do? Well, one steak bowl, please! That's not what I meant, but then again... I guess we might as well take a break. I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. I'll have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. Oh, now that our tummies are full, let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. The end. The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed. Now that over half a year has passed, there wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, 
whereas Saki-san didn't. But otherwise, the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy, too, but no one's seen him. Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new, uh, deductions? <sighs> Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano. As well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. I really like this scene because they're like, okay, here's all the facts. Now here's a list of people. Pick it. Or you get a bad ending. I love that. I love that the game has the balls to do that. To make you, the player, have to solve the mystery in the end. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. <sighs> I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. It's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Ugh. It's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. Hey, is it snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick. The snow just gets lost in it. There must be something you overlooked. It's urgent that you get over the roadblock facing What's you. What's the matter? The culprit had some sort of connection with both Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi, and judging by the warning letters, he likely knows about the other side. He knew, also knew what Namatame was doing. There are almost no witnesses. It's Nautico. Of course, if you lo only look, look only at the circumstances, you can't rule out that possibility. You encountered it many times when investigating the case. You learned much about the police's movements from Adachi as well. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi. Hmm. I really wish I had maxed out the social link with him. I'm sorry. Interesting approach. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. This is a small town, so everyone must have known who he is. And since he's a detective, people definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. In fact, he could use his position to his advantage and hide critical information. Huh. Well, if you think of it that way, I guess it's possible. But we're talking about Adachi here, right? I mean, really? Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. Are we really on the right track here? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi, I'm not sure how to put it. But there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. Yeah? Hmm. Perhaps it's just my imagination, so I shouldn't speak to... <sighs> it's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. Adachi-san? Adachi. That can't be. be. I mean, he said he came to escort Miss Yamano... What? Was he at your inn when the announcer was staying there? When Miss Yamano was staying at our inn, the media were swarming all over it. That's when Adachi-san arrived, saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He told our waitress that fame could be rough. Guard her? He didn't spend the night there? Huh. I wonder if he knew Miss Yamano. I don't know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. I found out this afternoon. But I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Detective Adachi also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body. On numerous occasions, I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time. It... Then you think he had something else on his mind? 
And that something is what connects those two victims to Adachi-san? Come to think of it, we've been running into that guy a lot, in all sorts of places. And every time he'd tell us what the police were doing before saying, oops, I said too much and clamming up. Was that all to throw us off the trail? I think it was to throw us onto the trail. No problem for him to drop that warning letter into your mailbox either. Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. And is it really a duchy son? This is still only a tentative theory. We should work to confirm it as soon as possible. This is now Toshiragane. Something has occurred to me about the case, and I'd like to get Detective Adachi's input on it. Huh? The transport? It's right now? Right, I, I see. Thank you. What was that about a transport? Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's relocation. We must head there at once. Dachi. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Hey, do you know where Dojima-san went? They told me he snuck out of his room again. I assure you, we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put, but he keeps going off on his own. Jeez, with Namatami finally relocated, I was looking forward to going home. So, he's been relocated. I've been wondering. You seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Didn't you guys think so, too? Hey, what are you doing here anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? If he catches you, he'll start pestering you again. I love how you can hear the facade start to crack. Adachi, where's Namatami? That's the exact place where the sound bite comes from. Adachi. 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 It's been a lot of noise today for some reason. Jojima san. You Oops. Did what? Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. G give me a break, Dojima-san. Those first two murders have been bothering me. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. But that part's still nagging at me. Adachi. <laughs> is this more of your detective's intuition? He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about it. A dodgy. And you kids should really get home too. You're gonna get in the way of police business. What's gotten into you today? It's odd to see you taking work so seriously. Come on! I'm always giving 110% when it comes to the job. You should get back to work too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. Mm. What are you all doing here? We came to confirm something with Adachi-san. The time the announcer went missing? I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw her or anything. That's that a lie! months ago too. My memory's kind of hazy that far back. That's a bold-faced lie. She discovered the announcer's body, but she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it helped. Warning letter? The one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Uh, I don't really remember. 
Why would he send that? Is he stupid? Like, he knew that there was a chance Dojima would find it. Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your accident was right after that. And what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Uh, besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Jeez, what are you asking me all this for? For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Dojima-san, you really need to get back to your bed. That's why your wounds aren't healing. And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? I'm going back. I need to get to the station and report in. Just one more thing. We know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Someone else killed them. Adachi-san, do you have any idea who that might be? That's just a raw line. <laughs> like, that's a not just so fucking raw with how they accuse him. Like, do you know who it is? I have no idea what you're talking about. Because we think it might have been you. What? That's ridiculous. We already know Namatami's the one who put them all in. What did you just say? I love that. <laughs> he fucked up so hard. Put them all in. What's this putting them in business? Do you know something about the method behind their murders? Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. If you have, why didn't you tell us why, about that? Only that it sounded a wrong note to me. Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? At the scene of Dojima-san's accident, at the time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. And in response, your words were, wow, then that settles it. How, I wonder? Would that settle anything? At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. You had no reason to say such a thing. After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. What? Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd that. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? I don't know. I said I'm busy. Wait, you son of a bitch! Adachi! Ah! Oh, damn it! Adachi! Adachi, where's Namatami? Adachi. Adachi! Ah! Oh, Adachi! <laughs> Um, who's a detective that lives in Inaba? What the? I swear he ran this way. Damn it. Where the hell did he go? Did you find him? Are you okay? I contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. He's still here? But we looked! We didn't find him anywhere! That bastard. <clears throat> Dojima-san? For heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? Sorry. I got carried away. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? Y you're right. Sorry. You've got to find Adachi. 
I need to square this away with him. Please. I really like the end of Persona 4 Arena because, like, they get reconciliation, and I like that. He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would, but could he have... You know what I'm missing from this game is cut-ins. I... If this game had cut-ins... I hope they add that in the remake. Yeah, I think so. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? You mean he went in through here? We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. We're not 100% positive he used this TV. And on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Let's go in from Jeunesse, like always. It'll be fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. I got you. And that is going to be where we call the stream for today. Thank you for watching. I have somewhere I need to be in an hour. So I'm going to end the stream there. Uh. Goodbye.